What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Glimmy Nana, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Put your post bell notifications, let you guys know when your girl is uploading a new video. So, in this video, I want to talk about... Hey, hey! Calm it down while I'm filming. Um, okay. <laughs> so, in this video, I want to talk about the reason why i want to be celibate and how long i've been celibate so if you're interested in the video stay tuned Alrighty, so um i just got out of a relationship and we wasn't intimate on that type of level so i was talking to somebody at the time and moment come on filter i was talking to somebody at that time and moment but after that there has been no type of intimacy so i have been celibate for oh, i think for four months for four months and i'm really proud of myself i'm really proud of myself because your girl be uh yeah. dirty diana in these streets <laughs> but anyway um the reason why i wanted to do that is part of my self-love um self-love journey me talking to different men and being promiscuous uh it bothered me it so basically the reason why i wanted to be celibate is basically give my body to god because the bible says that um my body is the temple of the holy spirit right come on filter why are you acting up okay so my body is the temple of the holy spirit and how can i practice self-love and you know just be promiscuous and i didn't like how it made me feel like just you know messing around with different dudes that really didn't care nothing about me um so it put a damper on my self-esteem and how i viewed myself and honestly that what made me want to be celibate now i've been preaching celibacy on my channel for a long time like years ago but it never stuck but this time it's sticking and i'm so proud of myself i'm so proud of myself i'm so proud of myself um but honestly i've been through so much with guys i have a negative viewpoint of them and i know every man is not the same but it seemed like Every man that I let into my life, they either taking advantage of me or want to sleep with me. And it's like, God, like, why I'm allowing these men in my life and why I keep putting myself through these situations. And I realized because I didn't have enough self-love and I was too nice and um, too forgiving. And I always want to give people second chances. So now I realize that I'm not going to do that. I love myself more. And I deserve way much more than they putting out. Um, and I realized that a man, a real man, is going to value that. Uh, you know, I do be on social media shaking a little tail feather. But I try to do it tastefully, you know, because I am sexy. I am a woman. I, I, I have all the qualities. Like I said, I have all the je ne sais quoi you know qualities of a attractive woman and i am attractive you know so i mean like it's not hard to get a men attention but all attention is not good attention i keep saying it um but i realized that i don't want that in my life anymore i deserve way much more than these men can ever give me and and now i'm at this point in my life where i'm like god i'm gonna wait on you i'm gonna wait on you i'm gonna see what you got I will see what you got on. I will see what you got. Because nine days. I wait. I wait. I hold out. I hold out. <laughs> um, but it's basically just come from just self-love and me loving myself and wanting more for myself. And I don't want to waste no more time because your girl could be 31 this year. I'm not gonna also like being in repeated after toxic relationship after toxic relationship i had a guy bite me and i'm tired of the victimized mentality that i have like i want to change my mentality towards men and so it's like 
First off, you can't want a whole man to love you, a good whole man that's spiritually discerned and wanting a relationship with God and all that type of stuff if I'm not right. So I got to make sure that I'm right before I can even offer myself to someone. So that's why I'm really just working on myself, developing myself uh, spiritually and emotionally in every aspect of my life. Um so that's really why I want to be celibate. And I ain't got no nigga stressing me out. I ain't got no worry about no nigga playing me. Who you talking to? You miss but da 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 I ain't got time for that. You can miss me with that, y'all. Also, I want to make sure I'm financially stable. Like, I want to make sure I got money. I ain't got to depend on no man, which I don't. You know, I got my own. Let, 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 me, let me say that. Let me say that. I got my own, but I want to make sure that you know, I can travel, go places, and all that type of stuff. You know, I really want that. I really want that. And um, I just want to be whole, like, in every aspect of my life, you know. I, I That's what I really want. That's what I desire. And I want the same thing for my spouse, my mate, you know. Um, I feel like nowadays uh, marriage is, is not a goal. Like, that's cool for each his own, but for me... I'm wife of material. You know, look at me. Like, look at it. Look, you, you, you see me. You see me. You see me. Period poo. Don't play me. I'm not the one nor the two. So anyway, um, I just didn't like how it made me feel. Like, it made me... So you guys, this is the end of this video. I really didn't know what to talk about. Um, But this is the end of this video, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on TikTok is Glammy Nana or Pretty Red with a zero. Follow me on Instagram. I know I need to post some pictures on Instagram, but I don't be posting on Instagram. But I'm gonna try to. Um. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Put on your post bell notifications as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.